Hi guys, in this video I'm going to show you how to add event handles at, at runtime using Lambda expressions. In the last video I showed you how to add event handles at runtime and it's pretty much this bit of code here. And if you have a lot of controls on your program, this can get really messy really fast. So I'm going to show you a different way of doing it. I'm going to get rid of the event handler for bottom one and I'll just start over again from the beginning. Alright, so just as we, we did before, we're going to type in the name of the control that we want to add an event handler to, dot the event that we, we want to add an event handler to, and like before we're going to type in the plus equals to, but instead of pressing tab twice here, we're just going to um, open up the brackets, type in s which stands for sender and E which stands for event args. Um, this can be anything. S here just represents this and E represents that. Then we're going to type in the lambda symbol I think that's what it's called which is equal to greater than and then we're going to um, put in whatever we want the bottom one click event to do. In this case it will be a message box dot show button one. And that's pretty much it. Now if you run this and you click on button one a message box will show saying button 1. The cool thing about this is you can use this bit of code more than once. You can even use this uh, bit of code to concatenate onto an existing event handler that you have. So I'm just going to show you in button 2 if I put in that bit of code and inside of button 2 I mean, after I press button 2, it will also show a message box saying XYZ. Just want to get rid of that. We can't use the variable name E here because it already exists here. We're going to type in R or something. And it's going to run it again. You press button 1. But a message box saying button 1 appears. You press button 2, nothing happens. But when you click on button 1 again, a message box saying button 1 appears. And then another message box saying XYZ appears. Now, there is a setback to this. is that you can't remove an event once you've added it like this. If you remember in the last video, you could remove the event handler. But in this case, you cannot do that. It cannot modify what's going on in here after you've set it either, so think carefully of when to use this. And with that, I'll see you guys in the next video.